Hey everybody, Massachusetts Prepper here. Well, today I've got the the last flash giveaway coming for y'all. And in this video, I'll tell you how you enter, and it's going to be really simple. But let me go ahead and show y'all what it is. Now, I've already opened this. Now, let me just go ahead and dump this out. Most of you know that it is some Glock parts. And these parts were courtesy of Bastion custom accessories and gear magplates.com okay so what we have here is two sets of the magazine bottom plates and the slide end plates. Bastion sent me these and they seem like they're pretty high quality and we're actually going to take uh, and install these show you what it is but we're going to install a set of these right onto my Glock 19 and this is uh, the magazine plate cover these are um, a hard plastic but they feel very good now you can see this is their their website we go to products magazine plates slide back plates magazine release catches AR-15 charging handles you know portable battery chargers accessories and gear custom um, P mags ejection port covers wishes for warriors you know just a, a lot of different things on here uh, if you want to go to their website of course it's uh, magplates.com but there it is bastion the american flag you can get a larger image there we go and that is what we have here oh can't keep it in focus there we go So yeah, so what we're going to do here real quick is take and change these out. <clears throat> and then I'll tell y'all how you're going to win. Got a Glock 19 here. Magazine is empty. Gun is empty. Okay. You can do this with the slide on or off the gun. It's just easier if you take it off I think um, right in here you've got this little bitty catch right here Let me see. and you pull down on that and that releases the spring tension that's on this back plate and then this back plate will slide right off with your thumb so what I normally do is just reach in here pull down on it and that slides right out and you can pull it off okay then to install the new one you just put it in there come back and catch that little slide again and when you pull it down you see how that well, you might not be able to see that. Let me get it up here so you can see it. See how that's dropping down? Okay. So we can get this set in place.
this is a lot easier to do when you uh, aren't trying to work behind the camera guys but just get that slit in there and it holds that down then you can take your little punch you press the other spring here and everything slides right back in and you've just installed your new back slide plate okay so this is the one that came off and now we have the new American flag one on and then of course you just put everything back together kind of the same scenario with your magazine this is going to take the place of that one okay it'll be like this so it's right side up okay guys <clears throat> I'm going to show you all a real easy way to get these base plates off from the Glock because you know with those little tabs right there you can see that right in right in there those little tabs go in that little groove <clears throat> and these are a pain to get off but there is a, a much easier way uh, or an, an easy way to get those off and I'll show you all that in just a second here we're gonna go ahead and slide this other plate on and you have the same issue putting them back on uh, and I'll, I'll show y'all I just take an old rag just an old shop rag wrap it around so you don't mar up your your magazine any and just take a pair of channel locks and grab on and give it a little squeeze just enough to get those to come in if you can get it in the right spot or you don't end up getting your rag all in there but you can give it a nice little squeeze now well, let me get it started I can't do it on camera bring y'all right back okay but just by holding in on that a little bit you can get that started and get it to slide right on uh, same way when you're taking it off just take and push that this down all the way until it clicks uh, and that will be out of the way and then just put your rag around there squeeze a little bit with your channel locks and you'll be able to just push this right off uh, and change out your base plate on your Glock it's one of the easiest ways I found these are a pain in the butt to get off but Here's the old Glock slide end plate and the magazine base plate. And then here we have the new end plate and the new base plate on the magazine. It's really a short process. Doesn't take long to do and you can personalize your gun they have a pretty good assortment of base plates and end plates for your slide and base plates for your magazine and you can uh, you know check them out so there you go guys uh, swing by check out bastion magplates.com see what all they've got to offer um, very good product doesn't take long at all to get this stuff swapped out on your Glock firearm and it adds a little bit of pizzazz get this thing to focus in on this Ooh, there we go but yeah looks nice doesn't take long to swap them out and personalize your firearm and like I said they do have a 
pretty good variety. Yeah, check them out if you're interested in spiffing up your Glock or it looks like your X, X and D and your uh, M and P's. So uh, by all means, check these guys out. Now we're gonna have a flash giveaway. If you own a Glock and you would like to get in on this flash giveaway and have a chance on winning a back plate, a back slide plate, and a base plate for a magazine for a Glock. This is courtesy of Bastion Custom Accessories and Gear, magplate.com. How you're going to win this is just use Bastion in your comment. <clears throat> Make it pretty simple. Use Bastion in your comment, get in on this giveaway, and uh, this will be the last flash giveaway I'm going to do for a little while, guys, because we need to get back on to what this channel does. Will you survive whatever comes your way? I sure hope so. This is the Massachusetts Prepper saying, take care all.